let's see. Let's work with some negatives. What if I had uh, negative 5a to the fourth, let's say, times, use some different letters here, b to the third times, and I'm going to put a start parentheses here because I've got a negative 3 times a squared times b squared. Okay, and we want to simplify this down. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my uh, my coefficients here of negative 3 and negative 5, and I'm going to multiply them together. So negative 5 times negative 3 is 15. And then, of course, you have a to the fourth. I think I'll just group these first before we go any further. Then we have b to the third times b squared. So now we have 15. Now remember, both of our bases are alike, so we add our exponents, 4, 5, 6, times b, 3, 4, 5. And that has now been simplified down. Okay, so let's multiply this one out. So as you can see, we've got two of these terms. Okay, because this is squared. In other words, we have 3xy cubed times 3xy cubed. So instead of writing it this way, we can condense this down and rewrite it like this. All right, but I don't know. I guess we'll just work this out right here. But if I were to uh, group this stuff, let's see, 3 times 3 is 9 and x and x so how about I just write this since you're learning this maybe for the first time we'll go nice and slow how's that so we have a 1 and a 1 so we add right so we have x raised to the 2 and then y and then we add our exponents to the 6 easy enough. If we were to look at this, we could say 3 squared, right, y is to the first power, so this would become 1 times 2 is 2, and of course 3 times 2 is 6. And we get the same thing. So it's more uh, uh, preferred to do it this way, it's a whole lot uh, faster. Okay, I'm going to de demonstrate the uh, the distributive law. So we're going to take this 3 and multiply it by this x here. So this becomes 3x plus, and then 3 times y is 3y. I mean, what is this really? This is nothing more than saying x plus y plus x plus y plus plus x plus y. I mean, that's what we're really saying here. And I'm going to throw some parentheses around this. And then, if we were to condense this down, you could rewrite it because there's three of them. You see? But, we can go ahead and just do this distributive law here and, uh, and rewrite it. So, let's... Uh, let's say that I had 3x times x plus y. Well, we do distributive law, so the distributive property, 3x times x plus 3x times y, and we get 3x squared, remember we add our exponents, plus, and of course there's not much we can do with that. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's look at this one here. We got negative two x y times negative three x. So negative two times negative three is six. And we'd have x times x is x squared. And then of course we have this y plus negative two times this minus two is a plus four. 